This tier list is monsters that are specifically for Slayer, not Slayer Tars. I need that to be very clear. Mo pretty much the monsters on this list here. These are Slayer monsters, very different to Slayer Tars. Okay, so we're going to be comparing them to each other in terms of basically just the utility of those monsters. Their superiors are being judged separately as well, whether they're worth killing. If I'm incorrect on some opinions of these monsters, then feel free to correct me in the comments or in the chat. Um, but I, pff, let's be honest, the F tier is going to be full of a lot of shit. Let's be real. Anyways, um, I, I'm going to try to start at the top where I can see here, which is Crawling Hands. Um, which, honestly, that looks badass, the superior one. I'm not going to lie to you. But Crawling Hands are quite evidently F tier. They're garbage. They have absolutely nothing going for them. Um, they are, they're not very special. They have a terrible fucking drop list. Uh, drop table, sorry. Uh, the superior pretty much goes along with them. Yeah, it's great XP, but even the, because it's such a low level, the rate of getting an imbued heart or something is too damn low that it feels good to get it, but you never, they're not S tier. How are they S tier? You can't just say S tier because it's, oh, it's a crawling head. No. It's, it, it's not OP loot. They're fucking different colored gloves and rings. In 2006, it was OP loot because it was like 3k for a fucking yellow gloves. But not anymore. They're garbage. They're shit. You're just trolling? You got a head like a meat pie. I don't even know what this thing is. I have no idea what this is. This, this is called a cave bug. I don't even know if it has a superior. I... I... This is... This is F. That's terrible. I don't even know what that is. I don't want to know. It's a bug in a cave. I think it drops early herbs. It does. I've never needed, I, I feel like drop, that dropping early herbs doesn't really mean shit, to be honest, because I can't imagine someone going there that desperately for herbs when herbs are so uh, widely available across the game in other places, right? S starting out stronger F tier? Absolutely, yeah. Like most lower tier monsters are probably going to be F tier, let's be real, that's the nature of the, uh, the skill. Uh, but we do have now here the cave crawlers, which aren't F tier in my opinion. I think these are probably more E tier, because um, while when you, I think you can get the material skipping, and while they are slightly higher level than cave bugs, they do offer the opportunity to make potions on the go. The amount of times I've been poisoned by these fuckers, but had the resources for a anti-poison or an attack potion right there, was pretty cool. And I thought that was pretty handy. Uh, the poison isn't really too much of a problem anyway, because you can grab free poison outside of castle walls if you're desperate. The superior does look fucking sick. Okay, he's a flat boy with a big back. So I think the superior can comfortably sit E tier with him. It's nothing special. The dot drop table is shit for the superior's um, drop table. But overall, I think the cave crawlers do look very cool. They're very nice. White berries for irons doing a uh, hand in the sand. I See, those are things I don't know about Slayer, to be honest. That's really good to know. Um, now we've got, let me lock this thing in place real quick so I don't move it. Uh, padlock, there we go. All right, sorry, Banshee. Uh, Banshees are kind of garbage, to be honest. They require you to wear earmuffs, which, especially at low levels, you just kind of want to wear your Dragon Medium Helmet or whatever you got. They're kind of shit. Um, the drop tables are they're actually not too bad, though. They're very easy to kill. The only problem is, I guess, getting to them. Unless you go Ward Banshees in the Catacombs, but then if you're a hardcore, I guess it's it can be too annoying to deal with, but I guess that doesn't matter. You just have to grow up. Uh, Banshees aren't too bad. What I think about it? I didn't mind doing them. The A tier, you reckon? The red cunts get in their grave in catacombs. Get to, but that's just that. That's got nothing to do with the slayer monster itself. But I guess that is still pretty good. I think C tier is probably a comfortable level of it, to be honest. Like, I I, I never really had a problem. Get, they're, they're garbage to kill. Don't get me wrong. That's a fact. But I never really had a problem getting them. They're not bad. Like midway through um, slayer, right? Oh, oh, we got ward banshees. Is this ward banshees? I don't know the, 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 I know the drop table of these guys is like extensively better, right? Is it warped or twi no, twisted banshees? Twisted, sorry. I don't know why I'm saying warped, that's a different, um. I, oh shit, what the fuck is this? Hold on. This is the superior banshee. Yeah? Super, superior banshee, mostly the superiors are gonna, the superior can't really be less than it's, Counterpart at m most points of the game, right? We're gonna move these guys to D tier, okay? Why am I lagging? What the fuck is going on? We'll move these guys to D tier. Alright, and I think we'll put these guys in C tier. Because these guys do have a significantly better drop table. They are level 89, I believe. Which does make them a little more... Standoffish for lower level players. Um, but they do only have one attack style, which is Magical Melee. 
Um, so the drop table isn't super bad if you have prayer potions. Yeah, I don't think they're entirely bad at all. I think, I think these guys can go C tier quite comfortably. Yeah, there's a bunch of different bands. So you have these ones in the Slayer Tower, these ones are in the Catacombs. And I think by default, um, I don't like how this is lagging. This is really annoying. By default, these guys are also C tier. Superiors are pretty much going to yeah, be with or above their counterparts. There's no real way around that. What the fuck is this? Is this a desert lizard? Is that what this is? I'm, gonna, I'm just going to pull the list up here. Is that, that must be a desert lizard, right? I don't like anything else that I've got on this list. Desert lizard? Ah, yes, desert lizards. My favorite F-tier piece of garbage. Fuck desert lizards. They are the worst fucking things in the game. Cave Slime are also the same. These are just shit. Like, this is more just annoying F-tier crap that you just have to deal with at low-level Slayer. That's why people avoid it, right? You just Terrial skip to you can do Kono, you go Wieldy Slayer. Like, this is why. They're just shit. It's all crap. Like, what the fuck is this? I can see it. I want to grab it. I can see it. There you go. This thing here. Little salt bug that has a superior as well. They're just shit. They're terrible. Can we get someone below F tier to put the de desert lizard in? We can't, unfortunately. Otherwise, I absolutely fucking would. Yeah, for sure. Like, they, they, F tier is like... We need to invent a new place to send all these monsters. These are terrible. Cave slug, all bad. All fucking bad. Absolutely terrible. Cockatrice? Uh, the shit thing about Cockatrice is they're the only thing in the game that drops iron boots, I believe. Which is annoying. Because killing them otherwise is utter garbage and a waste of time. Luckily... The good thing about them is that you don't need to be on a task to kill them. As a Slayer monster themselves, they're kind of shit, but we will make them E tier just because, um, clue scroll item. That's about it. Easy S tier because of the name Cock. That's gay. Alright. That looks fucking awesome. I'm not going to lie. Purely because of how cool the Cockatrice Superior looks, we will make it D tier. But let's be honest, you're never doing a Cockatrice Slayer task, so you're never going to fucking see one. I bet no one looked. No one knew that it looked like this until just now. That's the first time you've seen a Superior Cockatrice, right? That looks fucking awesome. I love that design. Never going to see it again after this tier list. Hell fucking no. Moving on with our lives, thankfully. We have Harpy Bug Swarms. Harpy Bug Swarms, back in the day, were the shit. I used to love Harpy Bug Swarms. These, these, are, these are the boys that I were camp, was camping when I was a little noob. I thought Harpy Bug Swarms were awesome. Turns out they're garbage. And they're shit. And they're annoying. But due to nostalgia, I'm making them B tier. Just because I feel like... They, they have a special place in my heart for early level PVM. And they're not a bad task, but you never use a Slay Master that gives them to you. If you do, it's not the worst task to get. Are you doing this? Who asked for this? Why are you doing this? Who asked for this? Everyone did. I'm doing it because I can. Alright. Here we go. We got Pirate... What? 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 Pyre Fiends? What the fuck? What the fuck are these? What? Pyre Lords? Is that not the superior? Pyre Kings? Pyre Lord. Stronger variant of the Pyre Fiend. And then you got the Imperial Infernal Pyre Lord. Oh, well, okay. So this is the big, this is the Pyre Lord. The pie thing. Okay, I don't know what a pie lord is. That's cool. Pretty much the same thing, but more XP and the same drop table. Damn, that sucks. Yeah, that drop table is fucking horse shit. Like that. That is that is disgustingly bad. That drop table. It is. It's the same. So, pie fiends by default are the better monster because you can kill them faster. Pie fiends can go D tier, and pie lords can go F. That is bad. They're by Fasanis? No, they're on um, Soul, Soul, Soul Island, aren't they? Massive trend in Slayer creatures to have two versions, each of uh, each with their own superiors. Too many monsters. Um, I would say that the idea is to give you more diversity on shittier tasks, but really, the Pyre Lord, looking at the drop table, the Pyre Lords have the same drop table. They're just slightly stronger. If that. Yeah, they're like 12, 12 levels stronger with no... Not nothing to offer at at all. And what are the what's the drop? One in the two, one in nearly twelve hundred for an imbued heart. Yeah, this is all garbage. This is all trash. I don't know which one's which. I'm assuming that this one is going to be D tier. Whichever one it goes with their counterpart. If I get the superiors wrong way around, don't fucking cry about it. It doesn't matter. Okay, you know what's going on. You understand it. Yeah, those are terrible. One is only in catacombs. No, no, there's not. They're not in catacombs, are they? These ones are inside the Fremnic Slayer Cave. 
And these ones are on um, the Isle of Souls, where um, Soul Wars is. But regardless, you shouldn't be doing Slay Masters to give you Pyrefiends, because that, that is atrociously bad. That is fucking shocking. What are they? The Mogas. Right, these are for the, the flippers. Is this mandatory in the game, or do people do it just to, to feel good? These make you run faster underwater, right? Mogas are cool for flippers? Yeah, but that's about it, right? They're not mandatory, because I don't think I've ever done Mogas without doing, like... I think you have to kill, like, one for a diary. Chucking dynamite in pools is pretty cool. Yeah, but you can do that with Kraken now, so, like, it's no longer fun. Collect shock item. Cool hat. Uh, these guys are gonna sit in E tier. I don't... I don't... Yeah. If they... Just because they're big boys, they get E tier. They get upgraded. Slay monsters? Yeah, this is for the slay monsters. Hecatomba, what's up, man? The hat, though? Well, fuck the hat. We'll slay a helmet. They aren't gargoyles, let's put it like that. Yeah, okay, fair enough. All right, wall beasts. Wall beasts are funny because, well, they can be completely avoidable if you understand how to move in the game, which is by running past them. Um, I don't recall... I think I've only had the slay task once in my life, and I don't even know what they drop. You can't even get a superior. Uh, you need to have the slay helmet, of course. Look, the fact that you can't get a superior alone is just evidence that they are F tier. If there's no e, if there's no superior, it's hard to justify why it should be on the list above F. He says with the Harpy Buzz Swans and B tier, I know. Get over it. I want to see the wall beast outside of the wall uh, as a high level monster. That would be cool, yeah. Mini Oms, yeah. Running more like teleporting constantly. Or you can do that too. They drop light mystic gloves, don't they? No, the light mystic hats they drop, which I already have from something else. I think uh, Superior Basilisk or the bigger Basilisk do it. Could like 10 of these on my account, more a nuance than anything else. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, these are kilowatts, I believe, right? Which is another forgotten um, Slayer monster that no one kills anymore, I believe. Yes, the kilowatts. These were a thing I killed back in the day, but I don't anymore. They dropped Mystic Fire Staff. Hold on a second. I needed one of those at one point, and I did a quest for it instead. Uh, they dropped Fire Orbs unnoted, but only two at a time. So they, this is a shit, shit drop list. Hers by the one. They dropped... Three cannonballs at one and seventy. This is terrible. Vanaka and um, Ma Maxna are the two slay terrible slay masters. Terrible slayer monster. No superior. It's F tier for me. Absolutely. The plane was cool as fuck. Yeah, the plane is sick, but the monster is garbage. Need to have animal magnetism completed to kill them. Everyone's done that anyway, right? Vires. Now this is an interesting one because these are technically only good after after you do um. Sins of the Father, right? Because then you get the Blood Shard ones. You can obviously speed run it by killing the ones in the forest and then you uh, can go for the task faster. But Sins of the Father, if you want money, you go for the Blood Shard. I have killed nearly 3,000 and I've never had a Blood Shard drop. Um, there's always people AFKing them on ult, which I think if you ult Vyres for any reason, especially on the main account, you should be shot in the back of the head. Um, otherwise, I, I don't really mind them. They're very AFKable. You can choose how AFK you want to be. Increase your strength bonus by reducing your prey bonus. You have to pay more attention. Increase your prey bonus, but you reduce your strength bonus. You can do the whole task pretty much blindfolded. Um, people, the best part about this is people get bloodshard drops, which happened the other day in the clan. Someone got a bloodshard drop and was so AFK he missed it, um, which is good. You deserve that, whoever the fuck you are. I can't remember his name, but if you're so AFK that you missed your bloodshard drop, you fucking deserve it. Um, so therefore these will be B tier. I mean that's fair. This is a slay monster tier list, not slay task tier list. We'll do slay task next week. Alright, next we have uh, Jade's mum. I don't know who the, what, what the fuck is this? Is this on the list? M Milan Milanesque. What the fuck is a Milanesque? Milanesque. Milanesque. They are in the Dorgish Khan South Dungeon. They drop Swamp Weed, which is used for making glass. Okay. And um, they don't have a... This is... This, this it doesn't even deserve to be on the list. That's a delete. All right. Moving on. There's a snake. This is a sea snake. What the, what a, what a, what a, I need to Google this shit. What the fuck is a sea snake? Why would you kill these? What, what's the purpose of this? Giant sea snake? Sea snake hatchling? Sea snake, sea snake, sea snake young? Giant sea snake. Maybe? 
No, this isn't the Slayer Monster. Which one? Which one do you choose out of Sea Snake? The dungeon one. That'd be the young then, yeah? These boys here. Okay. All right. Um, broad arrows. Okay. More garbage. Some seeds. One in 9,000 chance for a tall star seed. Uh, adamant dart tips. And um, no superior. F tier, boys. More F tier garbage. Just added to the game for no fucking reason. As, like they have all these slam monsters every level. Look at this. You have Slayer Monster 37, 35, 33, 37, 38, 39, 40, 40, 40, 42, 44, 45, 47, 50, 52, 55, 56, 57, 58, 60. Like, look at these numbers. They're all crunched together. Then you got... I mean, these are all too, pretty close to, I guess. But we got plenty of space past 95 for more Slayer Monsters. Waiting for that. Waiting for that day. But right now, yeah, this, this is all utter garbage. Then you have Basilisks. And Superior Basilisks. And... That's it. Uh, Basilisk is shit. We know this. They're garbage. Uh, they have pretty decent draw tables otherwise in terms of um, in comparison to say anything in the F tier and they do have superior so we will put them E tier for now. But normal Basilisk are shit. They are. They're Cockatrice. It's just, it's just croc Cockatrice with more health. More annoying. More, more XP but more annoying. We have Ring Dragons but what about Dragon Dragons? Dragon Dragons are coming to the game of Dragon Slayer 3. Terror Dogs? I can't imagine anyone doing this ever. Killing them after the one that you need to kill for the diary. F tier. Terror dog for a terrible fucking task. Next we have... Um, these are the Infernal Mages, I believe. Uh, these are also shit. People, why do you kill Infernal Mages? Can someone give me a valid reason? I don't think we have one. I think the Reddit is nothing but autists, so Reddit's opinions mean nothing. What's that got to do with this? Rabbit was ripping you off last night, ripping on you last night. I doubt it. I don't really care about Reddit. Um, I don't use Reddit for that reason. Mystic um, piece or boot drop? They drop some cool collection of, collection item stocks. Really? Look, at the end of the day, the reason you're doing Infernal Mages is because you accidentally used the wrong Slayer Master. These are shit. Okay, Superior also shit. Waste of time doing the whole task. Kill them because you don't have enough points to skip them. Exactly. Which means you made a mistake. Um, apparently, Venonatus is a, is a monster. Is there a superior for this guy? No, Fever Spiders. Oh, I did Fever Spiders. They only drop like qualms, right? The the um, the the strength potion herb, and that's it. Which is pretty cool because that means you only have one type of herb to pick up. You know what you're getting. XP isn't too bad. It wasn't actually a bad task when I had one. They're E tier. Fever Spiders. I'll, I'll give them E tier. All right. Then we have, is this the next one? This might be the next one. I think I'm trying to pick out the mushrooms here. This is this is the one in Xanaris, which is um, F tier immediately. We don't need to discuss why that's bad. The one on Fossil Island, however, um, this might be a hot take, but I will actually put these in C tier, okay? Now, the reason I put this in C tier is because there's a bank really close, of course, to them. Also, hi, I'm Rob. Welcome to the membership. Thank you. I appreciate it. The reason they're C tier is because there is no superior, okay? But if... I will normally skip these tasks. I'll never block the mushroom tasks because they're never big tasks. They're small tasks, which is good. Um, yeah, I'll never, I'll never really block them. But if I do get them and I don't have enough points to skip, it's not the worst task to get. It's really easy. Okay, they die very quickly and their drops aren't super bad. It's a good source of volcanic ash. If you can get the the calcium and the the the, the pool of sperm for the um, the fossil machine is pretty good. Easy points. Yeah, I think the fact that it's a small task makes it actually not too bad to do. Blast Rhythm with Carols and Melee. I think you can also get noted more my fungus uh, on occasion as well, which is nice. So I I'm happy to rate them C tier. They're, they're not a bad task if you've got no points. Um, then you got this... Hold on, there's a Sulfur Lizard here. Sulfur Lizards, if you have 42 Slayer, I believe it is. Let me open up the Slayer tab. 44 Slayer. As soon as you have 44 Slayer, if you're not doing these when you get a Lizard task, you are a moron. Sulfur Lizards are C tier. They are very good. Iron Ore Drops, you don't have to use... Um, the water on them to, to fucking to finish them off like the other ones in the uh, in the desert they're a win all round for sure the lizards are good then we got tour off but there's another tour off in here somewhere just trying to look for something that looks like it's a cancer patient there it is tour off um the only thing i like about tour off is that they're not aggressive which means you can pick and choose the which ones you want to kill if your inventory is getting a little bad you can kill the weaker ones to try and squeeze out the last few kills so tour are half-life one rip off uh, you know what, that's probably a valid argument. 
I don't think two else are too bad, purely because they're not aggressive. That makes it handy. I'm going to put them D tier, and the superior, I think, will go T D tier along with them. Them not being aggressive means you uh, are not under pressure when trying to kill them, and you can go for the weaker ones if you need to. Next, we got everyone's favorite, Blood Velds. All right. These are the normal Blood Velds. These are done in Kona, in, in Neve Slayer Dungeon. If you're doing these Blood Velds, it's because you're using Kona, and if it's not for every 50th Slayer task or every 30 attempt Slayer task, whenever you're using Kona, sit. These are an easy E tier monster. Normal Blood Velds suck. Although they do look thick and juicy, just because of the ass, we're going to make him uh, D tier. However, mutated blood bells, boys. Come on. Nothing but S tier. These are some of the best Slayer monsters in the game. I think we can all agree. And this is the blue balls. Turbo ass mutated body. Hell yeah. These are S tier. Okay, the reason they're S tier is very simple. Now, cannoning them in the lab is beautiful. Who doesn't like cannoning them in, in the Medish labs? I'm happy with that. But... Early in the game, you can burst them in the catacombs if you have ults dancing for you, which makes them a, an amazing early game burst task. They drop blood runes like they're going out of fucking fashion. The insult heads are great because you can use the insult heads there if you're doing them in the catacomb. Sorry, in the in the lab, and you get free prayer XP. Ashes, free prayer XP. Um, if you want to pick up the drops, you have some rune drops on there. You have a good source of fire runes and air runes from them as well, which is nice. Safe spotable. Every, there's nothing wrong with blood builds. Don't they don't drop bones anymore. That does suck, but you get more prayer XP out of it as a trade-off, so that's not too bad. Um, now you have uh, Cave Horrors. Now, Cave Horrors are kind of shit as a Slayer task, but as a Slayer monster, they're not overly bad, because one thing which I learned late into my Black Mask grind, the best part about these guys is you don't need to be on task to kill them, which means you can go get your Black Mask like that as soon as you have the level. One thing I do recommend you do if you are doing this grind, however, is that you take um, our Slayer Spellbook and you run those Insult Heads. Because they drop Insult Heads really fucking commonly. And the Black Mask is rare enough for it to be worth you spending your time down there with a cannon. Shit task. Absolutely. It's annoying to do when you've got the Slayer task. But if you don't have the Slayer task, once you get Black Mask, you block them. Right? But the monster itself is pretty B tier. It's not bad. Good amount of natures as well. The Superior is awesome. So he's going B tier as well. Absolutely. You could just pray melee. You could pray me melee if you want to avoid using the necklace. It does mean you use more prayer and it is a bit more annoying, but it doesn't delay your attack, so that's good. 200 kills to get your black mask. Nice. Then we have jelly, and then superior jelly, and then we have warped jelly. I'm assuming that order, right? Normal jellies means you're in the Fremenic Slayer Dungeon, which means you're using Kona, which means you've made a mistake somewhere in your life. Uh, so these are going D tier because they're actually. No, they'll go E tier with Blood Velds, actually. They're probably on the same level. As blood builds, I would say. Like, I wouldn't complain. The drops, I mean, it's, it's hard clue content. However, warped jellies are a little bit higher. Warp jellies are going to be C tier, okay? Because these ones you can stack as well in the catacombs and burst. Um, basically, you get really good source of hard clues. The only problem is they do have a bit more magical defense than most burstable monsters, which means you do want to have a bit more mage accuracy, which can sacrifice some prayer bonus, which makes it a little bit more tedious in your prayer pots. That's totally fine. The best part is, is that you don't need to be on task to take advantage of this if you're trying to rush hard clues for content. You can chin them too, absolutely. The thing is, if you need hard clues, you don't have to be on task to do them. They're good stackable content. It's, it's, it's a great way to farm hard clues and um, uh, totem pieces too, if you really want to. Uh, we have brine rats. Is there a superior brine rat? Is that the superior brine rat? I don't... I don't if this is normal brine rats, uh, these are immediately F tier. Fuck brine rats. Absolutely. No superior? Good. Yeah. Fuck F tier. Brine rats are shit. Uh, now we have Aberrant Spectres. Aberrant Spectres, in my opinion, Kona, uh, sorry, in the Neeslay dungeon. Good place. Cannonable. Not multi, but the cannon does a great job there. Uh, we haven't had an X yet. No, Aris. Thank you for the, the trauma. Um, I think these guys are a great slay monster. Um, they drop a great source of herbs, like an incredibly good source of herbs. The this, this Snapdragon seeds in these guys are a little bit busted, in my opinion. You can, in a Slayer Touch, you can pull like three or four seeds easily without trying. I don't think they're too bad. Um, they don't have a huge amount of Alks, so it doesn't feel like you're wasting time if you don't bring Alks. As long as you have a herb sack, you can pretty much do a whole task in one sitting. No, no complaints. I think they're B tier. Very good. The Superior comes along. I mean, the superior, just because he looks badass, goes A tier. Just, he, he's fucking awesome. He's a big boy. He's massive. He's got to go there. Requires a decent amount of interaction without being too much of a burden. Yeah, I think so. 
Um, but then we have the, the Deviant Spectres and the Deviant Spectres ult. Deviant Spectres, on the other hand, are F tier. If you do Deviant Spectres, you've got autism. Or you're using Kona, which means you fucked up somewhere. Um, that's a skip on Kona. I don't care. Never do Deviant Spectres. They are harder. You can't use a cannon. They, are, um, they have more health. They're worse. And their drop table is the same. The drop table is slightly altered. That it is absolutely not worth killing Deviant Spectres ever in your life. Superior is badass though. He's also A tier. He's a big boy. Just purple. Alright, so don't ever do Deviant Spectres. Deviant is great if you want Limpot Seeds, but so are the normals. What do you mean? But you could also do any other task in the game, or any other content in the game and get Limpot Seeds and Limpots. So no, that is not a valid argument. Lost Hardcore Deviant Spectres, tried to AFK them, bad luck. Yeah, you'll get fucked pretty quickly. So yeah, that's, that's happening. Now we have Superior Basilisks. Or whatever they're called, the Basilisk Knights. I've been doing these a lot lately, for the first time ever. What do I think of them though? I think they're a great source of Astral Runes. I think that there are too, too many... I've had too many nothing drops from these guys. Um, they are extremely tanky, especially at lower levels. So I think they can be more tedious. Like, it's a very long task that you can't really afford to AFK for too long. Obviously, if you're praying, that's fine. But then when your prayer runs out, you just got to be on top of it. Um, they feel a bit lazy from Jagex's end. The drop table is... Uh, I think they're, they're C tier. I won't skip them, but as soon as I get the draw, I'm blocking them, right? A tier, absolutely not. Because I'm not, not, I'm not going to block them, sorry. I'm going to de-tick that box. I'm going to re refund or whatever. Disable the task uh, in the in the task section. Once you have the draw, there's no need to ever do these again. I don't think there's, I don't think they're worth it. Absolutely not. Feels like they do fat damage for no reason. These guys are even worse, actually. The superiors, because they're so tanky, man, the superiors. Rip your prayer pot stash on these cunts? Absolutely, yeah. I flick a ring of wealth on last hit for the Bastard's Knights. That makes no sense. What for? Once you get a jaw, disable them. C tier. Smoke Devils. Here we go. Smoke Devils are the same in all dungeons, right? No, these, no Dust Devils. Sorry, Dust Devils. Dust Devils, I don't think there's a debate. These are pretty much S tier. Uh, along with the big boy, right? Like, they look fucking awesome. They are awesome. The drop table is amazing. The XP is amazing. If you extend them, you get an extreme amount of tasks. Um, on Sorry, per task. Um, they got D-Chain, exactly, which I need one. I've not had one yet in the hardcore, unfortunately. Um, not a dust devil task. Bursting, easy. If you have the Bone Crusher Necklace as well, and you have enough prayer bonus, you can do an entire 200 kill task with maybe one po prayer potion. Less than that. Dust devils are S tier. Always will be. Great drop table. Great content. Now we've got... Um, Kurask, obviously this is not in order anymore, I'm just trying to grab what I can, where I can. Kurask, um, I think, are uh, pretty... I think they're B tier. I, I, I would make them A tier if they were cannonable, but they're not. So I think B tier is fair. They're better in Prif because you get the Crystal Shards. Um... But, yeah, I think if they were cannonable, they'd be A tier. But big boy, there's no denying this is an S tier. Look, look at the fucking size of the cunt. And you've seen him in game? This is an S tier superior. There's no debating it. It's, he's the man. He's the motherfucking man, dude. They did... So, the, the thing is with Kuras, which some of you might not remember or realize that they did this. But Kuras used to drop Limpwort Roots like they were going out of fashion. They used to drop the fuck out of Limpwort Roots. And they nerfed the drop table, so now you just get a fuck ton of Limpwort Seeds, and Limpwort Seeds were buffed. I believe they were buffed at least. So, they did technically make them worse. Because they, they used to drop, like, noted, yeah, noted Limpwort's, and it was fucking good. Uh, but it was too much for the game, right? Limpwort's lost a lot of value, which they're kind of unvaluable anyway, but they've just adjusted the table now, so it's Seeds. I don't think that's too bad, though, because it just involves farming. So, uh, but that's something interesting about Curious that some people might not know about. It's true. What's your block, block list like usually? I could tell you when I jump on the hardcore because I can't remember right now. Now we have, there's a worm in here somewhere. There, here we go. Worms. I don't mind worms. I will admit there's a bias here. Um, I got spooned pretty hard on the hardcore with the worms. I went AFK on stream to get a Pepsi. I came back, there's a dragon harpoon on the floor. 40 kills later, got another dragon harpoon. Got dragon knife drop on the last, uh, on the last kill of the task, which means Zora KC is coming in clutch. Uh, worms, if you have full crystal, both are... Bone Crusher Necklace, um, and uh, the your RD Cape on, you can do, I shit you not, you can do a full task of Worms without sipping a dose of prayer. If you just use Protect, Major, whatever it is that you pray, um, 
maybe with eagle eye, maybe without eagle eye. I can't remember if you use eagle eye or not. But you can do a whole task without even using the prayer. Bone Crusher Necklace. Because you get your prayer back from them, you kill them fast enough, and your prayer bonus is high enough to keep the prayer like consistent the whole way through the task. I shit you not. A tier. Superior then by default is A tier. I'm not even kidding. It's a true story. Um, next we have... Fossil Island Wyverns. How many of them are here? Skele we'll do Skeletals as well. Are there other Fossil Island? That's ancient. There's one more, right? Okay. Alright, Skeletal Wyverns. <laughs> the white box. In my opinion, Skeletal Wyverns are E tier. They're shit. They're garbage. I know, you could safe spot them. You're fighting for a fucking safe spot. F tier because I never get a shield drop. Oh, on the Wyverns. Hold on, hold on. All right, back up, alright? Um... Yeah, I don't like Skeletal Wyverns at all. I think Skeletal Wyverns are, are garbage. They're extremely damaging for no reason. They're too punishing for what they're worth. Then you have all these Wyverns. Ancient Wyverns, I think, are pretty D tier, to be honest, because they just hurt. And if you don't really have full Justy, then you're kind of wasting your time killing Ancient Wyverns. It's not worth it because the difference is... Uh, the drop table is better, of course, but the Ancient Wyverns Visage isn't... It's still 1 in 10k. It's disgustingly hard to get. Um, but then you've got... I think you've got long-tailed, these are long-tailed, right? This is the tail's longer. Long-tailed wyverns. What the fuck is this one? Taloned? Talon wyvern? I think it's one in, maybe one in 8k, one in 10k, and it's one in 12k on these guys. And then you've got spitting wyverns. This, can you fuck off? And this, this is a spitting wyvern, right? So, if, if I'm wrong, then so be it. But this is the spitting wyvern, that's the important part. Okay, so this wyvern um, goes E tier, no, F tier. Okay, this wyvern goes F tier. All right. Now, what you'll find is a lot of people will kill these two wyverns when they do a fossil island slayer task. You know why? They're idiots. They're dumb asses. They don't know shit. Truth is, these guys here, A tier. Spit, uh, long tailed wyverns. No, wait, long tail. No, long tail's this one. Sorry, long tail. All right. Long tail wyverns right here. Are the best, okay? The reason long-tailed wyverns are the best is because every other fossil island wyvern has a melee and ranged and breath attack. Long tails only have melee and breath, okay? Which means you don't have to pray range, so or, or have range tank. So you just wear proselyte, pray melee, and the only damage you take is from the breath, which is unavoidable anyway from these these guys. So you can literally just proselyte. Pray a potion and AFK the entire task, and you're good. You're doing it wrong your whole life. I've got a video on it, man. I'm trying to tell you, there's a reason I'm the best at this game. I, I, I get it done. You come to my stream, you come to my content, you learn something. That's your hot tip for the day. Okay? You do them. What the fuck? Get off. Thank you. You do the long tail. You don't do any other wyverns. It is, infinite, which is why they're way better than fucking skeletal. Never block fossil island wyverns. Ever. It's a free task. There's one more of these fuckers somewhere in here. Where are you? Where's the mage? Look, there's a mage somewhere, but the point is, I'm sure we can all agree that the rangers and melees are F tier. Fuck these guys. Okay, we'll get to the mage when we find the mage. Alright. Friends, do your long tail wyvern task guide? There you go. Look at that, it's beautiful. Crystal helmet's 5% accurate, 2 more 5% damage, not even remotely close to what? No, you wear the Slay helmet over the crystal helmet. Yes, absolutely. Can remember how much RNG bonus Slay helmet was? Yeah, it's always better. Thank you for the nice hot tip, Daddy. Anytime, dude. Just done for Dragon Boots is Iron? Wrong. The, the, these two are F tier, but I don't know where the mage is. So you got the Warped Bird. Oh no, these are the Warped Birds, right? I haven't done, I haven't seen the Superior yet. In fact, I don't even think the last time I checked, the wiki hasn't got anything on the Superior. So, at the moment, I don't know much. But I think that these guys are pretty... They're pretty C tier, really. I didn't mind them um, on an Iron Man. I think the drops are pretty good. They drop food so you can keep consistent. There's bones, which are, means bone crusher. I didn't think these were too bad. They have good apps, yeah. Um, good source of earth rings, which ironically you want for the scepter. The scepter is nice. Um, the only problem is it's melee and range, and they alter depending on what you're praying. So that is a bit annoying, but a cannon can sort that out pretty quickly. Um... Yeah, I don't think those two are bad at all. Which brings us to the tortoise. I think the tortoises might be slightly worse, to be honest. The tortoise only have one attack style, right? I get that. And you can safe spot them easier. Excuse me. But they're also a lot slower to kill. Which I think that alone makes them not worth it. Because I think you can kill these guys faster. Which if you're grinding for the scepter especially, is probably more important. 
Terror dogs, good runes, and raw sharks noted. Yeah, but why the fuck are you killing terror dogs? Tortoise shells, useless, no sorry. I believe they are, yes. One more done question for worms. Did you say Artie Cloak over Avis? Absolutely. If you're using, crystal, if you're using a Bofa in full crystal, why are you wearing an Avis? Uh, 2% damage. The two, what's 2% what's of 48, cunt? Wear the Artie Cloak. Get the prey bonus. Stack it up. Prey. Do damage. All right? Let's be honest. The, the, the Bofa's not missing. You don't need the range bonus. It's not missing. Come on. Common sense, mate. Common sense. Brutal Black Dragons. You guys are going to love this one. In my opinion, Brutal Black Dragons are E tier because they're shit. Yeah, they got a great drop table. Um, the only reason they're E tier is because they killed Haxel's Hardcore, which makes me the dominant number one Hardcore man in my Discord server. Um, so they put me at number one. I'm, I'm first place now, especially when I eventually beat his high scores, hopefully. Um, so good competition there. GG. However, yeah, Brutal Black Dragons are kind of garbage. I'm not a fan of farming them. You got a Black Dragon task, go to KBD. It's got a pet. It's easier. Brutal Black's exactly what their name says. Brutal? Yep, pretty much. Um, now we have Nex. Alright, Necreal. Aris. Now, I believe that these look the same, but one of them's shit, right? One of them's in the Slayer Tower. The Slayer Tower one is... That's the worst Slayer Tower I've done at this tier. I've done it once. I hated it. Necreal in the Slayer Tower was disgusting. It was bad. However, in the Catacombs, I think we're sitting S tier. Along with the Superior. The Superior is S tier because he's big. He's bold, he's beautiful. However, the other good part is that people don't know how to handle him. They think running away or just tanking and, and using blood spells is the best way to handle the superior. The best way to handle the superior um, is to, when he spawns, freeze him, run to the other side of the room. Done. Because he'll get blocked by the other neck curls, which means he won't summon his um, little minions because they only summon when he attacks, not when he gets attacked, which means you've got him frozen at the back and you just fuck him. It's easy game. Pro tip. Thank you for coming. Gargoyles. Gargoyles, in my opinion, are... Have we got some marble gargoyle on here somewhere? There's a marble gargoyle here somewhere, right? If there isn't, we'll be sure to um, put them on here. Gargoyles, I think it's hard to say S... It's hard to not say S tier, right? Like, they're, they're incredibly good money. Um, the only shit thing really is, like... They're limited to one space, but I don't think that's really a problem. Do you think they're A? B tier for drops, C tier if you don't have auto smash. Well, if you don't have auto smash, you're a moron. You should have auto smash as like your second or third unlock. I think B tier, I think they're A tier for drops, if anything, right? These guys are free money. You don't even need to be on task to kill them. That's the best part. Yeah, I found a spiritual mage, yeah. I, I think A tier might be the best spot here, maybe. I don't know. I, I, am I being a little unbiased, by a, a little like weird by saying that I wish they were unlocked at an earlier level than 75? Like I, I think Slayer as a whole would be a more accepted skill. I know people love Slayer, but there's people that hate Slayer. I think if they were unlocked at an earlier level, people would enjoy Slayer more. Because they're a really good task, right? Which makes it kind of a good reason to make it S tier. But I think maybe A tier. I'm, I'm not sure. Remove Wyverns and make them tier 70. Remove Wyverns? Why? I think even if it was level 70, or like a, even just 70, like 2 or something really, like slightly lower. It's better if it's farther down the line for more commitment. Mm, I don't think it matters because you're kind of in the bracket of Dust Devils, Blood Veils, Nex, and Curask already by that level, right? XP is not good enough for S tier. A is fair. You're probably right on that. Level 74, and that's the last level I'm feeling until... I mean, I'm level 77, I just haven't had one yet. So it's too easy to train for them to get lowered, in my opinion. Oh, it's a very slow skill to level, that's the thing. I don't know. Uh, spiritual Mages. Now, these are controversial, right? Spiritual Mages, um, two years ago, would have been F tier. Um, but because of the release of Nex, I think these are probably A tier. Okay. Only A tier, provided... They're only A tier, provided you kill the Nex, like the Ancient Spiritual Mages. Any other spiritual mage is garbage and a waste of your time. But if you kill the ones in the ancient area, you get an, in, an incredibly strong source of astral runes, lava runes, um, death runes, chaos runes. You get an, uh, you get four types of herbs, which drop 125 each, I'm pretty sure. Which is Torstal, Snapdragon, Ranar, and Toadflax. 1 in 25, I'm pretty sure, is the case. You also get um, Near Hill Horn Shards. You get um, Ancient Brews, whatever they're called. Uh, you get, um, is it super defense potions, prayer potions, super restore potions. Um, their drop table is incredible. They're awesome. They're really good. And the bank's right there. And you only need to kill like six to be able to bank. 
There, there's almost nothing wrong with this at all. You just sit there, pray mage, range them, and just AFK. They're good. They're very good. Next we have, um, what's on the list here? What you got in the menu there? That looks good. We got Drake's. That's the superior Drake, that one. This is the normal Drake. Normal Drake, if you have, especially if you have a Dragon Hunter crossbow and a cannon, um, and just an anti-fire shield with a normal anti-fire extender potion, these are pretty B tier. They're not bad. Um, they're awesome. Drakes don't have wings. These ones don't. They've been cut out. That's why they've got hole, holes, I believe. Um, yeah, I think Drakes can, uh, Drakes can be really annoying, but they're, they're actually, like, really good. No, nah, they're, they're really good to AFK. I think they you just pray mage, um, and you have the anti-fire protection, and you can just AFK them. I think they have a really good um, imbued heart drop chance as well, so I, I think B tier is acceptable for sure. Very afk -able. Apparently I'm retarded, and they're called Drake specifically because they're wingless. Maybe, I don't know. I'm pretty sure Drakes just have... Drakes don't have hands on their wings. Don't other, other dragons... I think it depends that like some have hands on their wings or something. I can't remember. Maybe it's World of Warcraft thing. Wingless dragons, there you go, that'd be it. It's different in WoW at least. Uh, Dark Beasts, um, in my opinion, because the Slayer task is small, it's good. Um, but otherwise, they're kind of shit, to be honest. D tier. But the Superior is actually A tier, because um, it looks badass. And it's a good uh, imbued hard drop rate. But the only good thing about Dark Beasts is that it's a very small sh uh, Slayer task, to be honest. They're free, but it's just garbage. Otherwise, there's no reason to kill them off task, really. What up, Jono? How are you, man? Abyssal Demon? There should be Greater Abyssal Demons here too, right? We do not have Greater Abyssal Demons. Okay, so Abyssal Demons across the board in the Slayer Tower are shit. In the Catacombs, S tier. Whether you'll actually know, I'd say A tier. Because their drop table is garbage other than the whip. Um, and they can be really annoying to round up. But with the Venator Bow, they are better, in my opinion, than Bursting. Although slower. And Greater, pretty much the same thing. Greater's actually going to get S tier because they have a good imbued heart drop chance too. Why the fuck not? Can't really complain with that logic. Uh, Cerberus, in my opinion, um, worst slave boss in the game. E tier. Fuck Cerberus. Absolutely shit. Until they get like a better version of boots to come to the game, they're crap. Absolutely. Now we've got Smoke Devils. Smoke Devils actually I, I like a lot. I think Smoke Devils are cool. Um, you can cannon and burst them and have no problems rounding them up because you just use the skeletons on the floor to stack them. Service is chill, I found. Yeah, if you like Red X door method, you can do a whole task in one inventory, but it also take you like, you, you get nerd logged like four times. I think serve is crap completely. Um, yeah, as for Smoke Devils, um, I think they're, they're pretty, pretty B tier, only because they can be quite tedious to kill. Um, and if you don't get the occult, you're not really looking for anything else in their drop table. I have a bias against Thermi, or towards Thermi, sorry. Thermi, I'm going to put S tier purely because um, I. Got the pet on 1kc off task, which is um, arguably one of the rarest pet drops in the game. So, uh, he's S tier, no matter what. Superior, I believe this is the second most likely to give you an imbued heart. Therefore, goes A tier. Although, I still don't fucking have one. Um, Kraken. Cave Krakens, little baby Krakens. Shit. They're garbage. Big Kraken, AFK, all day. Good drops, actually. Boring boss. Boring fucking boss. But really good drop table. Sand free serums, good source of runes. If you get a trident midway through, you're staying there for the rest of the trident. Instantly, rune, you've got a rune top up right there. Um, it's fishing explosives. You can throw it from the start of the room and watch it go in. It's a nice little little fun game you can have with yourself. Yeah, uh, King, the King Kraken, whatever it is, Kraken boss, is probably S tier, to be honest. Maybe A. I'll make him A tier, I think. The fact that it's a boss is so confusing. It's the first boss we had come to the game, I believe. Then you have the Alchemical Hydra. The little hydras and the superior hydras. Our chemical hydra, um, S tier. Like, what? What's? What don't you like about the hydra? He doesn't give you. He doesn't give you your claw. Oh, you wipe away those tears of all that fucking money you're making, cunt. Easily. Uh, although the little hydras are kind of garbage. B. Um, but these guys are fun, cool, high chance of a um, imbued heart. They're A tier as well. What the fuck is this white dot? Right, cool. I think we might be missing a couple of things on this list from the Slayer Monster tier list, but this is purely just Slayer Monsters, not Slayer Tasks. Next week we'll look at Slayer Tasks so we can actually compare it with other monsters too that 
aren't traditionally that you can kill regardless of your slayer level, right? I come hard to worth the hype. I'm not anyone saying that. Yes, it is absolutely. Yeah, hydro GP hour went down considerably since release. Of course it did, but it's still great to farm, especially for Iron Man. Like you get a fuck ton of runes out of it. The ring is four mil when you make it up. The the claw is always handy to have. Absolutely, yeah. Skill tier list maybe in the future. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Just talk to a non and if he's happy to make one or if you want to make one yourself, go for it. Grotesque Guardian's missing, I think. Grotesque Guardian's missing. I would put Grotesque Guardian at... Uh, let's put him on the list. Fuck it. Grotesque. Let's put the picture on here so people on YouTube after aren't like, mm, you're missing some stuff on the list, mate. Because they, they'll just skip to the end of the, the tier list, right? They're not actually going to um, watch the tier list, which is why I litter the thing with adverts. Um, I am, however, just going to do Dusk, second form, and this is all three phases this is the entire grotesque guardian boss fight okay start to finish it back in the day when it was released easy d tier on release it was an easy d tier but now i would say it's probably a tier because they sped that the, the whole fight scene is like a minute and a half faster than it used to be just because the cutscenes have been reduced to the point that you don't need to do that tedious shit anymore they're easy to kill they're great entry level bosses Good mid-level boss, there's no issue there at all. Abyssal Sire is another one that we're missing here, so we'll put that on the list. The Abyssal Sire, um, it varies depending on your gear setup. The worst part about the Abyssal Sire, and I think the only shit, the, one of the only shit things about the Abyssal Sire is that what will happen is you will kill it and you will just get a Mind Talisman. Why? Otherwise, the boss is pretty good. If you have a Fang, you don't need to drain its defense, you just fuck it. And if you have Claws or Void Waker, you can finish it very quickly uh, to avoid a lot of the tedious mechanics. Bofa makes it chill. High magic level to stun it instantly makes it chill. Abbey Demon's missing? No, Abbey Demon's on here. We've got A tier and a S tier. I think the Sire is also A tier. I think it's a pretty decent boss, provided that draw table can be really shit. Never had an Unside myself, but otherwise it's actually not a bad boss fight at all. Set aside forever with Blood Brothers events? Yeah, you can. Very true. It's actually not bad. Marble Gargoyle would be S tier. I can't be bothered putting it on there. That's the tier list there. F tier. Skip. Skip. Reset your fucking tar streak. Get rid of him. Alright. E tier. Same thing really. E tier is all garbage. Why kill it? There's a better variant or a better way around it. D tier. You're only killing them if you're being forced to. Like if you're dicks in a vice. Same for C tier as well. But you can do these like the jellies off tasks and still get some good rewards. Once you finish with the Basilisk, you block them. Or you, you take them off the list so you never have to do them again. B tier monsters are pretty dope. Nothing wrong with doing them. They could be better, like if you could cannon cure us or something, if there was a multi-combat area for the Aberrant Spectres. Um, if cave horrors weren't so fucking annoying to get to. Vampires, if blood shards were better, of course. Like, these are things that would never happen, that shouldn't happen, but what, like why they, how they could be improved for, just for generic slayers. Um, a tier, everything is dope. If you get an A tier task, you're good. S tier, blood veld, you know, submissive and breedable content. And then, yeah, just, that's the slayer task tier list. But slayer, no, slayer monster tier list. Slay task we'll do next week to then compare it to every other monster. So this might get flipped on its ass very quickly. What has zero mage defense? At the side? Yeah, of course. Yeah, easy blood blood barrage for sure. That's the list, boys. Good luck. Thank you for watching. Let me save it. Play some hardcore. This is the easiest room in the raid. It's quite simple. You got a big boy. Look at him. God damn. Fuck, mate. Look at that boy. It's huge. <laughs>